Peace. I'm Dr. Delete, and you're watching Credit Healing. Peace, fam. Welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. This is very important that I'm going to relate to you all today, and that is as of November 20th, 2023, over 3,000 banks have closed in America. Now, going back from 2017 to 2021, 7,000 banks closed. Now, majority of the banks that have closed in America are actually banks that were in the primarily the quote unquote minority community, such as the black community. So what has happened and what is happening now is simply that many of the banks, they are seeing that most people are doing business electronically. So you don't have to be too alarmed. But the other thing is that they're not seeing too much traffic going in and out of the banks. So a lot of banks are pretty much getting away from the brick and mortar and they're moving more towards online banking. So you don't have to be too much alarmed. However, you have to be very mindful and keep your post on the situation because it has happened many times in the past, whereas that banks have closed and they've shut down and people's funds were frozen, i.e. what happened in California last year. Now, you don't want to be caught in that situation. So these are the, uh, the few takeaways that I would say that I would like to give to you all. The first thing is make sure to have uh, funds or have reserves such as cash or liquid assets that you can have access to just in case if something happened with your bank or if your assets are frozen for whatever reason. So make sure to take some money out and then have it just there sitting somewhere in your house in a safe that you can use just in case if you need it. The second thing is make sure to spread your funds out. So if you are just banking with one bank or even two banks, and if you do research and you look at, well, this is how many banks they've closed in this particular region, what you want to do is you want to spread your funds out and open up a new bank account somewhere else. The third thing is that if you have an LLC, I would highly recommend that you take your funds and you open up a bank account in your business name. And from there, then you will have money in your business account as well as your personal account. So you can have your assets kind of just divided and spread equally. Now, that's what I would say. If those of you who have not set up your LLC, you can feel free to reach out to us and then we can help you establish and set up your LLC very quickly because we do this all the time. But those of you who don't have uh, the right credit score because you're looking to get funding from a bank, then we can also uh, help you and assist you with that because obviously we've been doing this for almost a decade and we've been helping thousands upon thousands of people improve the quality of their lives by increasing their credit scores. So if you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org or you can give us a call at 225-733-6429. Peace. Mail, when I send it off, um, I'm going to show you the receipt that comes with it, which is a false step. So, Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what to do.